Hi folks, we're in our second part of uh, Your Brokenness and uh, we just finished just a minute ago on the first part so let's come before the Lord for the second part Lord Jesus Christ, we just pray that you might be pleased to anoint this message and Father I pray in his name that you will be at the centre of this and I pray that you be glorified Lord Amen Okay, we're looking at In Your Brokenness, Go to God I remember having a, a breakdown uh, about four years ago and I would just talk, talk, talk to people all the time, blurting out my emotions and it's not a good thing. I remember when I was a child, about seven years of age, uh, my, I had a bike with big white wheels and uh, a, red, a red frame and uh, I went to my father and I said, you know, the, the chain is stuck so he got a big tub of butter on a hot summer's day and he put all the butter on the chain I don't know why he did that but anyhow the bike fell apart when I was riding it in the backs and the whole wheels just went buckled and everything and in a way that's what happens if you have a breakdown your emotions just collapse and when they collapse you become vulnerable and if you've had a breakdown or if you are broken at the moment you're vulnerable so you've got to be careful who you tits talk to who you share your emotions with and if we turn to Psalm 34 verse 4 and 7 notice what David does in his brokenness I listen to this sought the Lord and he answered me he delivered me from all my fears those who look to him are radiant their faces are never covered with shame this poor man called and the Lord heard him he saved him out of all his troubles the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them did you notice that David seeks God in his brokenness and you know in your brokenness or it's very easy to keep going on and on and on about the mistakes that you've made or the hurts that you've got and keep telling people and you know pastors can help and counselors can help and your family can help but ultimately they can't heal your brokenness ultimately only God can do that and so it's time now to stop talking to people though they are helpful at times but to talk to God and to tell him how you feel in your brokenness let's turn to Psalm 55 verse 2 it says my thoughts trouble me and I am distraught I think is it 55 verse 2 yeah. it's the wrong verse wrong verse we'll go to Lamentations chapter 3 22 sorry about that Lamentations chapter 3 22 because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassion never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. We, we can go to God. His compassion never fails. His goodness never fails. His love never fails us. If you turn to Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 14. Hebrews 4. 14 it says therefore since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens Jesus the Son of God let us hold firmly to the faith we profess, pre we profess for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our, our weaknesses but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are yet was without sin let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need our Lord suffered and our Lord went through pain and when you come to him he understands and you can go to your Lord and you can come before the Father through the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord understands your pain and you have access to the Father through the Lord and God will comfort you in your suffering and in your brokenness so in your brokenness go to God it's time to go to God. It's time to go to the throne of grace. 
it's time to stop talking to men and start talking to God and pour out your heart to him tell him how you feel and he will hear and he will understand okay let's come before the Lord Lord we thank you for this day and Lord I pray that those who were hurt today might turn to you and that you will console them Father for you are a God who is merciful and kind and you love the humble and I pray that this dear soul who has heard your word would know your comfort and strength in Jesus name Amen Amen God bless you and uh, see you again I hope to do another study but two more and as I've said I've got to go and see my guest take care now and God bless